What evil have you wrought on this city, Persian? Evil? It is not evil that I bring, Spartan. I bring the might of Persia and the sacrament of purification. As we speak, my basilisk cleanses this land so that it may embrace the glory of the Persian Empire. Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. <laughs> then you are just a messenger. So take this message back to your little gods. It will take more than a pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. Please! Please, spare my life, and I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. Take my kingdom, my women, my gold. I won't take your riches, but I will take your life. Fulfilling his commitment to the gods, Kratos defeated the basilisk brought forth by the Persians. But this small victory would not satisfy the man who had come to be known as the Ghost of Sparta. Is this all you would have me do? Is there nothing else? through the sky and the world plunge into darkness, Kratos knew this was not a sign from the gods. What treachery is this? Setting his sights on the glowing horizon, Kratos made his way toward the mysterious light. But there was more afoot than Kratos could possibly know.
slave to no one, Charon. We share a common fate, Kratos. The gods will release neither of us from our torture. Be gone. It is not yet your time, mortal. and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. This time I will not be so merciful. Defeated Charon, Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But 
something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his daughter, Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, all that he had wanted, was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain. Never had it eased the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Calliope! Spartan, witness the end.
will help you. But I ask, where are your gods now, Kratos? Why do they not come to your aid? I do not need the aid of the gods! But my path is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan, what good is the promise of an Olympian? It is all I have, Atlas! We will meet again, Spartan. The fates have deemed it. One day, you will regret what you have done here. The mighty Atlas was left in chain, cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. The fate of Atlas had been sealed, and the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, but that mattered little to him. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. As the sun chariot rose higher in the sky, and the might of Helios shone once again on the world, Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. The dire toll of his relentless battles finally caught up with him as Kratos fell from the chariot to the earth. Was this sacrifice too much for one to bear, even for the man who was known as the Ghost of Sparta? He has again served us well, Athena. He is a remarkable mortal. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. They must. <laughs> 